Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and I am so excited to be filming this video for you. It's finally here, this guy. And this guy has been years in the making. <laughs> now, I have had a fleece blog for nearly 12 years. That's a long time and that's a lot of fleece. And something that has always frustrated me is a fleece tie blanket, one of the easiest fleece projects. Because, you know, while the tying of it is easy enough and pleasant, Cutting the thing is a pain. You have to cut out the squares in the corners and then you've got to cut the fringe. And it takes forever for a very simple project. No more with this guy. This guy cuts down the time to a fraction and makes it so much easier. And it is perfect for your no-sew blankets. I'm gonna show you how to use it. You will need Fleece Fun's handy tie blanket ruler, fleece in two colors if you desire a double layered blanket or just one, rotary cutter, ruler, and mat. And yes, you can do this with two layers. Now, if you choose to do this two layers at a time, if you wanna do a double layer blanket, it'll totally work, but you do need to press a little firmer on the rotary blade and you need to make sure that you have a nice sharp rotary blade as well. Step one, cut off the selvages. Using the long side of the ruler, cut off the selvages. These are the sides of the fabric that have writing on it and sometimes it has a different texture or tiny holes in the fabric. Make sure the blanket is the proper length and width for what you want to make. Now, in order to cut the fringe, we need to cut out the corners. Don't worry, this little guy can handle it. I'm gonna show you how. Step two, cut out the corners using the tie blanket ruler. If you're making a two layer blanket, lay the layers on top of each other, right sides facing out and wrong sides touching. Whether it's a double or single layer, the process is the same. To cut out the corners of the blanket, lay the ruler along the edge so the tines are touching one side and the right side edge is touching the right. The dashed lines on the ruler will help you picture the block we're about to cut out. Using the line labeled block cutting line, cut down this line firmly, cutting through all the layers of fabric. Take care and be mindful of where the blade is and do not cut yourself. Next. Flip the template over and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. The tying edge is now touching the right edge of the fabric. Now, cut down the block cutting line. Remove the ruler. The corner block is now cut out. Remove the block. It is not needed. Repeat this process so all four corners of the blanket have the block cut out. The blanket is now ready for the ties to be cut. All right, now that those corners are cut off, it's time to cut the fringe. Step three. Cut the ties to the no-sew fleece blanket using the template. Using Fleece Fun's tie blanket ruler, lay the bottom on the edge of the fabric with the right or left side lined up with the edge of where the corner block was cut. Using a rotary blade, cut firmly down each space inside the ruler, cutting through both layers of fabric if it's a double layer. When the last piece is used, reset the ruler, lining up the edge with the last strip that was cut and continue on until reaching the end. Continue until you reach the next corner. The last strip or fringe most likely won't line up perfectly. Use the one and a half rule. If the size of the strip is more than one and a half times larger than the strips, cut it in half. If it's less, just leave it a little fatter than the others. You won't notice it once it's tied. And now you just tie the fleece blanket as you want to. Step four, tie the ties to the fleece blanket. Start by gathering two ties that are sitting on top of each other. Keep them together. Wrap them around two fingers to form a loop. Pull the ends through this loop, making it so the bottom fabric sits on top for a nice contrast. For more detailed explanation, please see Fleece Fun's video on tie blankets. Troubleshooting. Sometimes the fleece won't cut all the way through. It most likely means one of three possibilities. One, your rotary blade is dull. When was the last time you switched out your blade? That could be the culprit. Two, not enough pressure on the blade while cutting. Be mindful that you're giving enough pressure so it can cut through two layers. Or three, the fabric was wrinkled or bunched, not allowing for a clean cut. Make sure everything is laid out flat and nice for cutting. Fixing a missed cut is easy. Just line up the template and cut it again. If it's on the second layer and the first was cut, move it out of the way so you can see the second layer and cut it. And I've got more projects in mind for this cute guy as well, so. You can do more than just a tie quilt. Trust me, I got ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one.
Thanks so much for watching. You can purchase this template on Fleece Fund's shopping channels. You can either go to fleecefund.com shop or you can also find me on Etsy as well.